So this is the Samsung Q900R, the company's latest 8K TV. Uh, this is the 65 inch model, which I have right behind me. And welcome to our setup video. Yeah, it's a little bit of unboxing in this as well, but you get to see how this TV is set up, how it functions, all that fun stuff. Now this is not a review, but we've got a lot of fun content in this video. So don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like this video, and let's jump in. The Q900R is a lovely TV set, although thicker in terms of width than most regular 4K TVs. Now, setting the TV up is an interesting process because I, I started looking for the TV stands in the box and realized after about 15 minutes that it's actually mounted behind the TV, which is cool. So if you wanted to wall mount this, you go ahead without even touching the mount. But you can see how easy it is to just take off the, the, the stands for the TV and then connect them, um, which is just super cool. I love this really simplistic approach. Now you can do it a wide mount or of course a narrow mount, depending on what you want to do. Uh, I'm giving you a very nice flush look and I like the whole back array. Now that's where you want to connect a cable co uh, connects to the TV. They've got a, a path that you know you can wrap it around to make clean cable management to you want to connect the box right here. This box is a little heavier because it's the 8K version, more processing power in here. Uh, as you can see just how it looks, uh, it's pretty flush. You've got all the ports you need in there. Of course, you've got your power, your antenna, um, you've got your HDMI ports uh, as well. Uh, you've got your LAN, optical, and of course, the one connector port itself. Now on the side, you've got USB ports, the USB 2.0. I wish it was 3.0, but it is 2.0 here. So the TV, when you turn it on, Samsung QLED 8K comes up. This is an 8K TV. It, it upscales all your content into 8K. What I like about this setup process, this is one of the easiest ones out there, is that once you turn the TV on, gives you the language you're looking at. You can select your language, whichever one you, you, you use uh, for your TV, but then it prompts you to use the app, the SmartThings app. And you can do this either, if you're Samsung owner, you've already got it built in, you can download it on Android or iOS, uh, and you're good to go. It finds your TV right the way, and then you start the process. Select where you wanna put the TV in, home. Um, it's my living room, I'm gonna add that next and then I'm gonna go through the process here. Now, this is the cool part about it because what it does here is it gives you a pin prompt, uh, which you go ahead and you type in that pin, and then it, it, it's so fast because as I'm talking you through this, it's a, it's a relatively fast process of just setting up the TV um, and going through the process of basically syncing in and giving you everything you want. So right now the process is going on the TV, so it's setting up through smart things and boom. Before setting up TVs used to be so difficult and long uh, and also a lot of processes that you have to actually go through uh, to make it happen, which this is not the case. So next up, of course, is accepting the agreements, which you have to do for all devices nowadays. So you agree to all that, hit OK, uh, and then it continues the process here, uh, registering your TV to Samsung account, which um, I, I already signed into. So uh, once you have your Samsung account, there's certain things that will bring down. So in my case, because this is, of course, a, a smart TV, things like smart things will show up in there. Uh, and then I also set up my, my TV settings as well. Uh, go ahead and hit next there. Uh, I'm just taking this a little slower than it actually is. It's really a fast process, but I'm trying to make it as simplistic as possible. Also recognizes what uh, connectors you have. So I have a few things on. My Xbox was off. If it was on, um, it would actually showcase as Xbox uh, there or my PlayStation or even my Nintendo Switch. Uh, so I like that aspect about it. And you know, the process again is really smooth and fast. Uh, and here I'm gonna enter, of course, my zip code. And from there you're signed in and you already have TV playing because TV plus gives you digital, um, you know, free high def content. Uh, and you can see you have the plethora of menus for the speakers, for picture mode, amplification. You even now have a, uh, um, you know, uh, app management or OS management, which is new. I like that. It's different, sets it up well. What I like about this TV is how good 
it looks it is vibrant when you're watching content on this thing it looks good you know the stuff on um you know i'm watching here on netflix which is upscaled to 8k looks really good um it just really sharp and vibrant youtube content 8k content on there looks very very nice you get to enjoy this tv to the fullest and stay tuned when i do my gaming video and also do my um uh my full review on this you get a good idea gaming on here looks really nice now this is not recorded at uh 60 frames per second but it also has free sync built into the tv so if you're connecting your gaming uh, pc which i'll be doing you get a whole different atmosphere with this um uh, with this TV set. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, stay tuned, and let me know what you want to find out more about this TV. I'll tell you in my full video uh, review and also my gaming uh, review of the Samsung Q900R 8K TV. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, hit the no notification bell, and always enjoy your entertainment.